Boys Central Jaguars are entering year two, trying to duplicate the success in year one. There's Sean Hager's helm as the Jaguars had a record of eight and four, including a home playoff win against Henry County. Last year was our first year combining two schools, and like we told our seniors to lay a foundation, and we had, we had a we had a better year than what I expected coming in. The, the seniors did a great job, I guess, building the foundation, and a lot of things we learned as far as practice and and how we're going to play this year. Hopefully, it'll carry over to this year. Uh, last year was a really successful. We got a playoff game in the first year. And now we're just really hoping to build off that and get another playoff game, if not better. Just keep building off of what we built off of or what we started last year. We opened up here at home first, and then we got like six or seven games on the road in a row. Uh, so our mentality, we, we have to be, stay sharp, and we have to realize we're going on the road, so the kids are going to have to uh, play in these environments and get used to it. Now, Floyd Central, they lost some valuable pieces to last year as they replacing 17 starters. However... The Jaguars feel that they have plenty of pieces in place to make a similar run from last year. We lost some strong kids last year, um, and that's where you know I thought because of their strength and stuff, and, uh, we got a little away from our fundamentals. But uh, the kids has worked hard in the off season. They really have. Uh, we've gotten stronger uh, this year, and I, uh, mentally, uh, I think, and physically, we're better prepared. I, like I tell everybody, I tell you the same thing I tell everybody. It's the best off season I've ever had. With the weight room we have down at the school, you know, it's got everything you need for football, and it really got every, everybody, including me, ready for the season, yeah. Floyd Central has a challenging schedule this year. After their season opener at home, they have to go on the road for six consecutive ball games. Communication is key. You know, you, you, you got to hang out. You got you to have friends. You can't just come out here and see each other once a day at practice. You got to have some kind of chemistry with your teammates, and especially on the offensive line. We all lift weights together every single day. We uh, exercise together, we go out to eat together, we do everything together. We did that last year, we just didn't have a lot of time, but we're all together and we just want everybody to get better. I hope they can expect the same thing they did last year and I hope we can we can come out and play for them and get them out in the stands like they did last year. You know, we're gonna play hard. And From Langley, for EKB Sports, I'm Joe Kinzer.